Hi, I'm Kevin Castaneda, and this is Kev's Mindset, where we talk everything finance, investing, mindset, and productivity. And today we're going to be talking about CCIV or Lucid Motors and how they're up and why this is and how much they may be continuing to go up. So if you do enjoy this video and find some value from it, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you are new and want more content like this. So let's get straight into the video. So CCIV, CCIV is up over 10% today with a massive string swing upwards. Now CCIV has been sitting kind of low recently. It was sitting the 18, 16, 17, eight, like it, it's been sitting in the under 20 and then finally it came over 20 and it was kind of sitting there for a while too, around 19 or 20. and then. As people started finding out that CCIV or Lucid Motors has a large short, like short position on it, it's like 27% short. People were like, whoa, 27% short. And this kind of got people interested. And that allowed a bunch of investors to be like, okay, if AMC is booming like this, and also AMC played a big part in this because AMC is, you know, it's kind of the meme or momentum, I'll say momentum movement. And it's kind of the head of the momentum movement. And then Workhorse started going, went up like, 40, 50% in a single day. And that kind of paved the way for all other short companies with a short interest on it. And CCIV is one of those companies. You've seen this happen before, where there, there was a sell off, sell off, sell off, and then there's kind of a build up, build up, build up. And then there was like that interview um, with on, on Mad Money. And that's really what caused it, along with the shorts, to go all the way to like $30 per share. And then it came back down. And I feel like it has these cycles because it's not yet established. So it's kind of just like, up down up down and uh, I, I've been like okay I want to hold it for a long time and like I love this company but it's also like okay let's talk strategy like should we be trading it like should we trade it and then buy it back low and then hold a long position if it keeps going then we hold on longer but sometimes I think okay if we really and we might not be able to get the top perfectly or get the bottom perfectly but I think we could do a pretty decent job so personally I bought at, at around a 20 to 1 dollar um, cost and I'm thinking about selling around 30 if we hit 30 because I do think that we will see another dip and I know a lot of people don't like to hear this especially when it's a stock that you like but I think it's very possible for us to hit maybe 30 maybe 32 whatever something like that something like a nice high and then come down pretty hard and then like in the in the course of like one or two weeks and because people get really excited for let's say some news or something and and that combined with the short interest kind of squeezing the shorts out it, it, yes, it, it is kind of helpful, and yes, it doesn't have like a reason to move up because of all those shorts, but it's not sustainable for a long, long time, especially since we're still waiting for all the cars and everything to happen. So I'm more geared towards waiting for the news, so I think I am going to trade this position, and then I'm going to buy it back in for a long hodl again, because I do think we will see another sell-off, and that's honestly the truth behind it, because I've seen it several times where it comes up pretty high, and then it dips. And that's just kind of, that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> so that's just kind of my thoughts on CCIB and its upward swing today. And I think that we can all take a nice lesson from this and learn how to trade CCIB. And this is not financial advice, nor my financial advisor. This is just my personal opinion. And I do think we will go up higher, but I think we're going to see a substantial dip as well back to the 20s. So I'm back to the low 20, like like to 20, maybe even 19. But that's the thing. Uh, that's what I'm, I'm kind of gearing towards and I'm preparing myself for. And let me know what you're doing with your own portfolio in the comment section down below. So if you did enjoy this video, leave a like and subscribe if you are new and want more content like this. So I'll see ya. This was Kev's Mindset.